Here you are going to add a ground plane to an existing model that is going to be used for our lighting analysis. From the 3ds Max Jewel, open a file, navigate to the models directory, and open up Office Suite Layout underscore zero one. You want to adopt the file's gamma settings, so select the appropriate option and close the dialog by clicking OK. This office is set up with three large main windows and an office area with a hallway running out the back. There are also several existing lights in the room. These lights are photometric light fixtures and are set up as luminaires. Since we will not be using these, the light has been turned off inside the luminaire, so they will not affect our lighting analysis. Also notice there is no ground. This model is just floating in space, and the default environment with no ground does not provide the appropriate reflectivity to get an accurate lighting analysis result. Adding a large plane will provide a surface to simulate the reflectance off the ground. So in the top view, go ahead and zoom out. You want to create a plane that's fairly large and will be able to fill up the windows all the way to the horizon. So let's go over to the command panel under the create tab. Click the plane object and in the top view, click and drag out a large plane. Uh, about that size should be good. Notice now that out the windows we see our ground plane off into the distance. If your ground plane needs to be a specific size, we can switch over to the Modify tab, which allows you to change the length and the width. Go ahead and let's set the value of the length to 1,000 feet and we'll set the value of the width to 1,000 feet as well. And now we want to name this something other than the default. Let's type in ground plane and hit enter. Now our ground plane extends all the way to the horizon. 